Hi, I'm Daito Manabe, media artist and programmer from Tokyo, Japan. I consider myself a neophile. I'm always seeking new things, trying things that haven't been done before. People call me a programmer, but I work in audio and video, so I call myself a media artist. My work exists on the boundary between art and science. It examines the relationship between human beings and technology, and how humans distinguish between reality and imagination. Welcome to Adobe. One of my recent projects was a collaboration with the Dolby Science team. The team was very supportive of my work. We were very excited about the possibility of using some of the methods and techniques that are part of our daily work here at Dolby. Our team here in this lab makes use of several different types of, of physiological sensors to really study how our technologies interface with our perceptual systems in an objective way. We're both doing a lot of the same analysis early on, and then Dido takes it and turns it into an artistic piece. We hopefully take that same information and convert it into a better audiovisual technology. With their technology, we set up a way to gather data on my physical reactions to stimuli. I could then turn this data into any art installation I wanted. We combine contact sensors that measure skin conductance, heart rate, hand movements, as well as the electroencephalogram, EEG, scalp recordings. We made use of the thermal imaging camera, and Dido watched the different films. We actually looked at his eye movements and how he engaged with the film content. The idea was to explore new environments that would elicit different feelings. First, I walked into a park. Later, I wanted to see how my feelings would change when I looked at an art exhibit. We ended up focusing on the two types of sensors where we have wireless connectivity. So that was the EEG cap and also the galvanic skin response and pulse tracker. And those are both wireless devices that communicate with PCs as well as the GoPro camera that he was wearing on his chest. I collected a lot of data. The next step was to convert the data into images and sounds. We did some initial processing here to clean the data up and also to do this independent component analysis. You had to get rid of movement artifacts and, and we did a lot of that on the front end here at Dolby and then handed it off to him. With this kind of work, I often have no idea how it will turn out. So I try out various things, and hopefully something awesome comes out of this process. The result was pretty interesting. I think he sees technology really as a conduit directly into the brain. So what a cool thing for him to be able to just basically tap into that pipeline. You see these signals on this amazing video wall, and that was nice to see that what he ended up doing really had this direct connection back to something that's at the core of what Dolby does.